Thank you, uh, Larry and Bruce, all the way from uh, Hollywood there. And rather appropriately, my special guest tonight knows exactly what happens in Hollywood. She was born there, she went to school at Beverly High, and like her mother, she became a movie star. Today, she's equally well known as one of the funniest writers in the world. Please welcome Carrie Fisher. <laughs> There you go. Does that make you feel homesick at all, the, uh, the Hollywood oh, stuff? Well, I'm thrilled because I had a baby about eight months ago and I've been too fat to be on a talk show. So any reaction, <laughs> it's good. Well, now you meet our very stringent requirements for, for, for breadth you. and width and stuff. Now, the, the Oscars, presumably, you have actually attended that ceremony. I believe you gave, you gave well, an award. I was on one. once with Martin Short and we both wore the same dress. And so we sort of arrived down on stage and I looked at him and I said, you know, I, I, you knew that I was going to wear that on the show <laughs> and I can't believe it. But it's awful to go to, I think. You know, they're fun to watch and they're not so much fun to be there because they're very frightening. Does it go on for, like, days? Is it really a long...? A lot of commercials and a lot of, you know, watching people be nervous and people ignoring other people, and so you don't really want to be there. But, but, no, but over here, it seems like we have award shows for just about everything. Uh, we, there really are. There's a real proliferation of them. Is it the same in, in America, are there? Well, I've gone to some awards. Um, a couple of years ago, I went to the Pornography Academy Awards. <laughs> and uh, they so were the, the most porn... moving that I have been to. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the porn industry itself? Yes. The pornographic movie industry? That's right. So what kind, of, well, what kind of award do they give the out for a star? The award is a heart-shaped piece of wood. And so the guy <laughs> that won for best stud of the year got up and said, roll tape, I've got wood. And that was his. Ex <laughs> that was his acceptance. A little industry in joke. That's right. And do they? Is it like a normal award? Do they show clips of the movies? No and stuff? clips. I was devastated because you could go up to someone and say, "You were robbed, man. That was incredible. When you were down on her, that was so believable." <laughs> Also so, that you didn't get so it. So what are the awards then? Do they have like... I mean, they best... stand up and somebody, one of the girls said in her acceptance speech, she said, Barbara Dare, she won for best lesbian uh, in a three-way. <laughs> I promise you. And she said, I have to say that Barbara Dare was the most interesting person I've ever found on the other end of my tongue anywhere. <laughs> I swear. And what do we get? We get the BAFTAs. <laughs> Yeah, no, but the, the movie titles, they, do they have a best title award or...? No, but they had best screenplay, which I really have wanted to win all my life. Because the plots are always very, very dissimilar and they're very complicated. <laughs> very complex. The that's a best screenplay was won by My Bare Lady. <laughs> so you can... But that's what I love about the films, because they take established movies and they change the title. Just, there was, um, I happened to come across when I was out in the States, um... <laughs> Walking past the stop, went in for directions, there was the shelf. There was Romancing the Bone, I remember that. <laughs> there was a Back Door to the Future 1 and 2. <laughs> and uh, I believe there was also, um, there was, when, when the big Kevin Costner movie last year, there was Throbbing Hood, uh, <laughs> starring Fire Suck and Little Dong, which I remember very clearly. <laughs> That's genuine. And there's also been Poltergash. <laughs> oh, oh. And after... Oh, I was back in Vietnam for a second then, I'm sorry. After, uh, after shampoo, they made one called Cream Rinse. Oh, that's... Uh... Classy. And you were in the original, of course, yes, but and not... I, Well, I auditioned for that, but I didn't get it. So what are the people like? Do they attend... Is it a black tie affair or are they naked, like in the movies? Well, I assume they were naked in a way, but they... <laughs> no, they were, they were... Some of them were actually sort of naked, the women mostly, in uh, fishnet. And I was sitting next to the woman who used to be a porno star, but then she had gone on to invent phone sex. So we sat, and one guy won for best director, and I, she said to me, I worked with him. And that's sort of saying quite something. And so I said, <laughs> oh, well, how, how was he? And she said, well, you know, he loved his work. We were, we were, I just met him, and we were sitting backstage waiting to go on, and suddenly he was on his knees, and he was, you know... Oh. And I said, oh, well, that's, that's uh, lovely. And so he, <laughs> and she said, no, it was just, he just loved his work. Oh, well. <laughs> Who wouldn't leave for the office with a little spring in their step? <laughs> uh. And I ran into someone, I was in the, a line for the lavatory, which is not a thrilling thing at a porno awards, <laughs> but there you go. And someone there said, Carrie? 
I said, yeah. They said, it, it's me, it's Steve Fizikas or something. And I said, oh, yes, uh, we went to high school together. I said, right. He said, what are you doing here? I said, I'm here with Buck Henry. I don't know what I'm doing here. I said, what are you doing here? And he said, I, I direct these. And I've changed my name to something else. And then he, I went back, and we were watching. And the woman won for Body of Work. They don't win for just one film. They win for the, all the films they made for the year. The genre. She got up and she was drunk and made a joke about sleeping with the guitarist and not ever calling him. Then she thanked a lot of people, including the guy I went to high school with who was her fiance. All I wanted to know was, is there a lot of, honey, I'm home. Oh, what a day at work. Well, I just got in my hair and you can't believe it. So that was I meant. Well, let's move briefly on. Because um, one of the byproducts of sex is the tenuous link, of course, would be children. You've, you said at the beginning you've just become a mother quite recently. Mm -hmm. And now, a, a pleasant experience for you or a, Pleasant? A I don't think like, the actual birthing thing is known as a pleasant thing. But uh, I suppose it would be bizarre. What I did for it was is I figured it's a female ritual in extremis. So what I did was I got an enormous amount of videotape or film of war, which is a male ritual in extremis. So while I was in labor, I watched videotape of war. So you could hear all the yelling or whatever with the gunfire and the machine gun and the mortar and all that from my room. And you could hear people. So did you get that mixed up with the doctors? Like, if you're watching the movie and someone goes, cover me, I'm going in. Did that make you... <laughs> there wasn't a lot of confusion about that, but <laughs> certainly I was confused. <laughs> but not a bad line. Um, <laughs> listen, you're going to stay with us for the whole show, I hope. Uh, mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I insist. All right, well, I'm hoping to see Hulk Hogan's... Yep. Now, now have they taken care of... Oh. Hogan's. <laughs> Hulk Hogan's here. Now, have they taken care of you? Have you been having a fun time? We've, we've, well, I haven't... I, they have taken care of me. They've watered me, but they haven't fed me. You really. haven't eaten? No. We should have given Carrie some food, shouldn't we? Did we? We've looked after the audience, I assume. You've we eaten, have you? <laughs> well, uh, well, let's do something about that. Is there anywhere we can get some food from the canteen? Or? <laughs> well, have you got... Who's open still? I insist on doing this. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Mike Morgan, the floor manager, ladies and gentlemen. Will you, Domino pizza, pizza still open? There we go. All right. No, not pizza. <laughs> you don't like pizza? There's a the door, mate. <laughs> you like pizza? I like it very much. Okay. I'll see what I do. I'll find out who wants what. Okay. You well, speak to whoever's on the end of this. Okay. They'll probably disdain me because I'm American, but that's good, isn't it? We've got the Hold on a second. Okay. Oh. Hello, this is uh, Clive at Domino's Pizza. Can I take the order, please? <laughs> Hello, Clive. Hello. Hello there. Yeah, we've got an order. It's going to be quite a big one. All right. Get your pen ready. Um, I'm going to put you over to Carrie Fisher. Okay. All right. And yeah. uh, are you all right, Clive? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> you want some kind of medication? No, I'm not at all. All right, let me put you on Carrie. There you go. Let me okay. find out who wants what. Um, I'm going to keep it simple. Any, for vegetarians, they do a superb cheese and tomato. That's what it's called, superb cheese and tomato. How many superb cheese and tomatoes? Hands up. Yeah. What's that, 50%? About 35%. Let's say 150. 150 cheese and tomato. 150? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. well, <laughs> you know, no, no, no. Are having a party or something? We are having a party, yes. I can't believe it. I'm <laughs> All right, and for meat eaters, how about pepperoni passion? Oh, yeah. That's 250. 250 pepperoni <laughs> passion. Oh, can I confirm your order, please? <laughs> Before he does, can you is make my... serious? Is it not a yeah. joke, is it? No, can no, I have, no, uh, can have extra onion with mine? An extra on onion on one. Just okay. one. Do you want garlic bread with that? Let's <laughs> go crazy. 400 garlic bread. 400 garlic bread. All right. All right. Any soft drinks? Oh, I tell you, yeah, there's a leaf here. One and a half litre bottle of Coke free with your order, so tell him we'll have that. <laughs> One and a half litre okay. bottle of Coke free with your order. I have your address, please. Um, the address. Just, uh, well, it's, uh, London Studios, South Bank. London Studios, South Bank. I can't believe this. I wonder. Oh, <laughs> and we, we need it here before the end of the show, so oh, we need it here. And we need it here before, before How long 11, will it be? Right? I mean, what's 450? Yeah. We're going to take a break now. We'll be back with Hulk Hogan, Stand Up for Mark Thomas, and hopefully uh, some pizza, I assume, if they yeah. get here in time. All right, don't go away. 30 minutes, I think. But it's going to be a bad dog.